Hello everyone, it's Serenity, also Infinite Light. So today's video is basically going to be <laughs> me talking about just trying to reason logically with there are certain ones and it's of no fault of their own, I know, because the Bible and various doctrines have confused people so much. So what I wanted to do is basically talk about Jesus and Jehovah, that relationship there. So many feel that Jesus is also an another personality of Yahweh or Jehovah or Satan. Now, the thing you have to separate, even when you're thinking about the Trinity, is the Father is not Yahweh. It's not Jehovah. So you cannot group Jesus or Ye and Yahweh in the same category. They're not the same. So basically attributing Jesus to Yahweh, who is also Satan, Mind you, I've done tons of videos, even with scriptures. Many others have done it as well. Scriptures that literally prove that Yahweh is Satan. And Satan is the ruler of this world. Psalms 83, 18 also backs that up. If you know that Satan is the ruler of the world at this time, Psalm 83, 18 says, Jehovah, who is the most high over all the earth. Now, if you're the most high over all the earth, but not the universe, not the rest of, you know, things, and you know who's ruling the earth, common sense would make you logically put two and two together. It's really not difficult. But once again, that cognitive dissonance where you want to remove the thought because something is facing you that is telling you the truth, but you don't want to believe it. Something like that is your own fault. Now, another thing. Jesus, or Yeshua, <laughs> his proper name, had also gotten this feedback and these accusations from people in his day. If you remember, the Pharisees themselves accused him of being from Beelzebub or, you know, the demonic realm, from Satan, that type of thing. And again, I told you, he represented source and the true heavenly father, not the earthly father. Okay, the earthly father was the one that he told the Pharisees that they imitate. They, he said, you imitate your father who is a liar and was a liar from the beginning. Once again, separate Yahweh and Jehovah from the true heavenly father because they are not the same. And Yahweh and Jesus, same thing. Not the same. This is also why in Mark chapter three, yes, Mark chapter three and verse, well, I'll read 22, this account where Jesus was talking to the scribes and basically they were accusing him of being from Satan, Satan, basically that type of energy, all right? And the scribes who came down from Jerusalem were saying, he is possessed by Be Beelzebub. And by the prince of demons, he cast out the demons. And he called them to him and said to them in parables, how can Satan cast out Satan? Are you following the logic now? If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. And if Satan has risen up against himself and is divided, he cannot stand. 
but is coming to an end. There it is right there. Even Yeshua or Jesus himself knew what people were thinking and they're thinking it still today. So that's why I wanted to make this video because I am no longer going to let ones that don't deserve being slandered and given personalities that do not belong to them. This is common even today. Many are like, no, this isn't that, that. But think about what happens right now in society with people who steal other people's identities. Now, they steal other people's identities for their own benefit to take advantage of others. They're frauds. And this is done on a worldwide scale. Now, if this world is run by these demonic, low vibrational energies, where do you think all these people are getting their, their inspiration from? The one who started it in the beginning. I've been saying that he has taken the, this Yahweh has taken the identity of many ones who are high vibrational and truly are what humans would consider gods of love. And he has ruined their reputation by assuming their identity. And that's exactly what happens when people steal the identity of innocent ones. Now, they literally ruin their reputation. They ruin their credit, everything. And this is exactly what has happened. And you might say, well, how can they allow it? Once again, if you understand divine love, it's not that you allow it to go on forever, but love is patient. It hopes all things. So basically, we are patient because we hope these energies will change that rebelled, who were once in the light. And also, the patience goes hand in hand with hope because you hope that they will see that the way they are going on is not right. They are operating in a way that they were not made to operate in. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully what I said makes sense. But as I said, this is the time where I'm no longer going to sit here. I'm not going to argue with people because <laughs> that's a waste of my energy. But I'm not going to allow the true divine family to be cast aside or slandered and maligned. Because what you think you know about certain ones in the Bible, even these Baals or Baals as some people call them. Who do you think made these ones look bad? And why do you think he was so jealous? Because he wanted to be them. There are people who impersonate celebrities as well because they want to be them, but they cannot be them. So they pretend when they feel that no one is going to find out that they're frauds. This is Yahweh. This is the ones who side with Yahweh, bunch of frauds. <laughs> and yes, Watchtower, because of who is running the show, they are a bunch of frauds and liars as well. And that's why many of us had to come, as you could say, through the fire. So our eyes could be truly opened and we would no longer be blinded. The other thing is, and this is going to be probably hard for a lot of you to hear but many of you light workers who are light workers now did side with the rebel at first and you had to see firsthand the results of being under that type of control in order to break free from supporting him now that's divine justice it's not that you had to be persecuted, but sometimes that energy that you send out needs to come right back to you for you to learn 
a lesson and sometimes the hard way. But that is also love. Okay. <laughs> That's it for today. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and put videos out when I can. Like I said, things are a little bit upside down here, but I'm managing. All right. Okay. Sending you my peace as always and my unconditional love. Bye-bye, everyone.